Did you know Vince McMahon was once involved in a lawsuit over the ownership of a toy poodle named Winston? In 2007, McMahon's former personal trainer, who had been caring for the dog while McMahon was traveling, refused to return the dog to McMahon and instead claimed ownership of the animal. McMahon filed a lawsuit in Florida, arguing that he had purchased the dog and had been paying for its care and expenses. The case made national headlines and was eventually settled out of court, with McMahon retaining ownership of the beloved pet. The incident showed McMahon's dedication to his animals and his willingness to fight for what he believes in is rightfully his. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the beginning. Vincent Kennedy McMahon is a businessman and professional wrestling promoter, best known as the chairman and CEO of the WWE. He was born on August 22, 1945 in Pinehurst, North Carolina to Vincent James McMahon and Vicki H. Askew. McMahon's father was a successful wrestling promoter who ran the Capitol Wrestling Corporation in the Northeast United States. Growing up, McMahon often accompanied his father to wrestling events and was fascinated by the business. After completing his education, McMahon worked in various executive positions in his father's company. However, in the 1980s, he decided to expand the company's reach and create a national wrestling organization that could compete with the regional promotions. To achieve this, he started acquiring smaller wrestling companies and promoting big events. In 1982, he created the World Wrestling Federation, which later became the WWE. Under McMahon's leadership, the WWE became a global entertainment empire, reaching millions of fans worldwide. He introduced new ideas and concepts, including larger-than-life characters, colorful storylines, and over-the-top theatrics that made wrestling a mainstream phenomenon. McMahon also made WWE the first wrestling organization to air its events on national television, signing a deal with NBC in 1985 to broadcast WrestleMania, the company's biggest annual event. However, he is known for his aggressive business tactics, which often put him in conflict with his wrestlers, other promoters, and even the government. In the 1990s, he was accused of promoting violence and sexual content, leading to a congressional investigation and several lawsuits. McMahon has also faced criticism from wrestlers who have accused him of mistreating them and failing to provide adequate health care and compensation. Despite these challenges, McMahon has remained a visionary leader, constantly innovating and expanding the WWE's business. In 1999, he launched the company's first streaming service, the WWE Network, which allowed fans to watch wrestling events on demand. He also diversified the company's portfolio, creating WWE films to produce movies and partnering with other media companies to expand the WWE's reach. McMahon's personal life has also been eventful. He married Linda McMahon in 1966, and the couple has two children, Shane and Stephanie, who later became involved in the family business. McMahon also had an affair with WWE wrestler Sable, which became a storyline in the company's programming. In 2007, McMahon's personal life made headlines when he faked his own death in a storyline that shocked the wrestling world. Despite his controversial reputation, McMahon is widely respected for his contributions to the wrestling industry and entertainment business. He has been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame and received numerous awards and accolades for his work. Today, McMahon remains actively involved in the WWE's operations, serving as the company's chairman and CEO. In recent years, McMahon has faced new challenges as the WWE has struggled to maintain its popularity in the changing media landscape. The company has faced declining TV ratings and increased competition from new wrestling promotions like AEW. McMahon has responded by making major changes to the WWE's programming, introducing new wrestlers, storylines, and formats to appeal to younger audiences. He has also pursued new business ventures such as partnerships with Saudi Arabia and expansions into new international markets. In conclusion, Vince McMahon's life and career have been characterized by innovation, controversy, and success. He transformed a regional wrestling company into a global entertainment powerhouse, introducing new ideas and concepts that have influenced pop culture for decades. Despite his flaws and controversies, McMahon's legacy as a visionary leader and showman in the entertainment industry is undeniable. Thanks for watching The Human Catalog. We hope you enjoyed learning about the life and legacy of Vince McMahon. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more summaries of interesting people and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Let us know in the comments which person you'd like us to cover next. See you in the next episode as we continue to explore the human catalog.